I'm dead center. Come on. Like he got grabbed and scratched at the same time. Right, bro. <laughs> Some scratch, bro. Just felt like I seen something over here. It almost reeks like blood. Wait. Dude, is that moving? Yes, it's moving. Guys, it's moving. There's like 666 on everything, bro. My spirit box just started in my pocket. Like, I have heard voices just us walking along. Oh, what was that? Bro, something just pushed that right into me. Today, we hit the back roads of South Florida and search for an abandoned slaughterhouse. Recently, my friend Carlos visited this place and he tells me that it's extremely haunted. It wasn't a question if we would document paranormal activity here, but what kind of activity we would document. Carlos, this is the type of shit. It's up my alley, bro. The closer we got to the core of this place, the more I started feeling like we were in for a hell of a night. Wow. Now this is a nice haunting ground. Freaking, uh, it was going back and forth towards me whenever I was uh, uh, looking at it. Like a, it, it like was, a pendulum? Like, a, like it, it was a sign coming hanging down, and what? there was no wind, and it just kept on going back and forth on us. And it came towards me on my video. Like it came towards me. I mean, he was by the pendulum, he got scratched. Wow. Yeah, right on his neck. We were over here in the spirit box when that happened. Those things, man, they look like two big ass kegs. What's up guys, Jody Dean here, Mr. Hunting the Dead. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with Carlos the Fam. Big shots out to him. I'm going to leave his link in the description below. You guys should definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Carlos is the homie. Florida is the paranormal YouTuber capital of the United States, man. It's facts. So many people down here are involved in the paranormal with successful channels. Um, today we are here at this beautifully abandoned, uh, graffitied warehouse, uh, industrial plant, whatever this place is. I'm going to find out more. We're gonna hear from Carlos in a minute. But one thing we do know is it's haunted. And we know that because Carlos has been here with his friends, with his friends, and they have documented some pretty cool stuff. So I'm excited to be here today. Again, big shout out to him for bringing me here and uh, it's time to turn shit up a notch. Tonight we investigate the slaughterhouse. All right guys, so I just found out that this used to be a slaughterhouse. Yes, it used to be a slaughterhouse. They used to have cattle come through here. And if you actually see outside when we go over to the other building, you're gonna see the, the trusses where they used to feed them and stuff like that. And they used to bring them into here and you know, chop them all up and stuff. And you know how uh, spirits, they, you know, they gather around where death is at and darkness and stuff. Absolutely. You, when you kill things, you know, that's also, uh, at the same time, damn, I just got cold chills. Um, it got really cold got just really all of a sudden. just all of a sudden. Um, last time we were here, like I said, and Josh ended up getting scratched. It looked pretty evil because, you know, whenever they get scratched, it's three scratches and three scratches mean the mark of the devil. This is how demons mock the Trinity the representation of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So that was pretty scary, scary because it looked just like the, the three, you know? Um, other, th other than that, we had a lot of um, EVPs coming through. I actually had a growl in that back corner over there when the other uh, pendiments at. And right, right. Oh, Something scratched me, bro. As Carlos is telling me how him and his friends were attacked last time they were here and they heard growls, suddenly I am attacked and you can hear growling inside my camera. You said that, bro, and I just felt something, uh... Okay? Well, yeah. Wait. Something came over you? Yeah, I felt like something just scratched me right here on my neck. I don't know if it scratched me or it grabbed me, bro. Oh, yeah, you got look like grab marks. It looks like grab marks. You got grabbed on the neck. Dude, that's crazy, bro. 
right, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean just, to interrupt you. No, sorry. Right. I was just doing a. Uh, oh, do I have a mark on my neck right here? Oh, yeah, you do have a mark on the neck right there, bro. It looks is like. It, is it like your boy? Look, look, no, almost, but it looks like, like it got grabbed and scratched at the same time. Bro, that's exactly how I feel. The fuck was that, dude? It sounded like somebody fucking screamed. And that was crazy. That it was happened crazy. to me. It happened, it happened to you. Just freaking got grabbed. Dude, so Carlos is telling me this story about how his friend got marked here and they believed that it was demonic. And all of a sudden, something came up behind me and like either grabbed my neck or scratched my neck. I don't know. He says that there's a mark on my neck. With the Delta's Oh, okay. So somebody's uh, putting penta pentagrams here on the ground. I think they were doing rituals because look, got another one right there. I have to be honest, man. If this was... Uh, if somebody wanted to do rituals, this would be the place to oh, do yeah. it. And then last time also we saw, we found bullet shells here. So I don't know if they were shooting off in here or not. So it's got to be careful when we're here. Dude. So, you know, Carlos was talking about there. And I've always said the same thing, man. When there's a lot of death somewhere, there is usually a lot of negative. And in this case, man, a lot of evil things could have seen the blood as a sacrifice more than yes what, the? You're right. what was that it was just a footstep over there bro watch it watch it. don't step on it i just got like a really uneasy feeling man right around uh, the pentagram area. Yeah. So there may be some energy hanging around from a ritual that these people did. They may, they may have been rookies, but what people don't understand mm -hmm. is even rookies, man, sitting down to dabble, they sometimes can bring in the strongest stuff because they're the weakest links to pray on. Yep, exactly. Ever since I walked in, I've been drawn to this corner and just because the pentagram's on the floor over there, it doesn't mean that something bad didn't possibly happen over here. I mean, there could have been not only animals killed in here and cattle, there could have been, you never know, man. There might be a dead body out here. This place is surrounded by nothing. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do it standing on, on, on the pentagram, you bro. do that? Um, whenever I got marked, it didn't scare me as much as I was excited because we're 10 minutes into it and I'm getting touched. Oh, yeah. How many spirits are here? Back. Back of what? Just felt like I seen something over here. What's that? Okay. Come on, come a little bit clearer. I'm gonna put you back. I'm gonna put it down. Okay guys, so Carlos says there's another part to this over here and he said that he didn't go to it before. No, we did, we did oh, you did go to it before, to okay, it before. okay. But anyway, we're about to head over there right now. Whoa, I'm glad I didn't walk into that shit right there, bro. The, spider? the huge spider. Okay. I've been some bad places, bro. But I tell you, something about spiders, man, this makes my skin crawl. Okay. Someone punched a hole in there because that wasn't like that before. Look at the detail on this I showed this last time. Someone had to, they did this by hand. It's really beautiful, man. Like a lot of this art is gorgeous. And it, it wastes the talent, you know what I'm saying? Because they're all here and no one's to see it. Yeah, it's true. Facts, facts, facts. All right, so here, we got a couple of diamonds and diamond things. Look at that right there. Oh, okay. I see. Bro, this is gnarly, man. Huh. Bleeding from the eyes, man. There's anything here walking around us. Did you step on this, bro? Yeah, I just did. If there's anything walking around us, speaking to these cameras. 
Yes, speak into our cameras. We're actually here for you. We're here to document your voice and present you to our platforms of the living. Dude, there's worse vibes in this one than there was over there. Like, this doesn't even feel good at all. This one's a little more intense. It feels like it, right? Agree, yeah. 100%. He thinks he just seen something over there. I don't doubt it because I thought I seen something at the other one. Again, a lot of the stuff we see, guys, we might not actually capture it on camera, but we'll be sure to say it out loud because you guys don't deserve to not hear about our experience. It reeks in here, bro. It almost reeks like blood. Yeah. Those are the pumps. Where they were pumping blood through? No, no, that's where they, um, I don't know, it looks like almost industrial pumps, like they're, they're feeding something. Oh, I got you. Man, it feels terrible in here, dude. Yeah, right. Like, you've, you've been to places like where suicides have happened and murders have mm -hmm. happened and stuff. Yep. You know that feeling in those kind of places? I feel that here, and I don't feel like it's just cattle, bro. Like yeah, I don't think so either. Remember, a lot of times, a lot of the cattle industry and um, meat industry, there was a lot of mafiosos. Remember, Tampa used to be a mafia city back in the days. Yeah, and it's not the best place nowadays, no, man. Still, I mean, and they still got a lot of mafias, uh, mafiosos here and stuff like that. They, they, you know, from back in the days. Uh, so I don't doubt. Remember, they used to own a lot of butcher shops. Yeah, I remember that we have stories that, was that we the, documented history that they used to use the butcher shops to get rid of bodies. It was a pretty uh, normal, easy, easy way for them to dispose of this somebody. This property looks like it's been here for a very long time. Yeah, me and Carlos right now. This looks scary. Are going in? What was this like a? This used to be the cooler. Because wow. you see the cooler door right there. I don't know when the ceiling fell, but we got to be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This. You heard that, right? Hello? Hello? Turn my light up, man. Did you hear that? Bro. I just thought I seen somebody. It just said who's there. All right, guys. Yeah, look, I'm gonna turn my light off just so you can see what we see right now. Turn. You wanna turn your light off too, bro? Dude, this is what we see in here. We haven't seen anything. I know. The fuck was that? You heard that? Well, we're getting a lot more sound over here and a little bit more activity over here than what it is over there. I almost felt like I seen somebody in the bush over there. Hello? What's that? Bro, what is it? Bro, no way. Dude, is that moving? Yes, it's moving. Guys, it's moving. Bro, didn't you say that when you and your boy came over here in the other place, there was a sign that was hanging? That, yeah, like was, a pendulum? Yeah, like a, like it, it was a sign coming hanging down, and what? there was no wind, and it just kept on going back and forth on us. It was, was moving? Back and forth. He said it was moving like a pendulum, dude. Yeah, and it's going around in circles. All of a sudden, that started moving. I know for a fact when I came in, I was recording, and that was not moving. Speaking to these cameras. Yeah, that was not moving. Bro. And there's no wind in here, so for it to be free moving. Can you tell us who is trying to give us a sign here? This thing right here was just moving a second ago. Did you do that? Is there a body somewhere on this property that we would find if we looked for it? Need to 
this way. So it's not like you said this way. Let me ask you a question. Whoa, whoa. Bro. bro, something just pushed that right into me. Right into me, bro. Was that you? And I I'm hold I'm holding my camera with one hand and the spirit box with my other, bro. I didn't even touch that thing. This felt like I had seen through the ceiling, bro. It was like an orb that just shot up. What? Was that you? Do you remember Carlos from being here last time? Bro, when you were here last time, was stuff moving like that, yes. grabbing people, yes. hearing voices, and yes. seeing shadows? Yes, we saw shadows. I heard growls. Also, at the same time, there was a, a sign that was moving back and forth, just like that was moving back and forth. Um, we were getting a lot of activity. And then, like I said, my, my homeboy, John, she got scratched in the back. Uh, Chino doesn't want to come back here ever again. That's my, my daughter's boyfriend. Because when we asked on the spirit box, say his name, it said his name exactly, Chino. And we didn't say his name the whole time we were there. So, wow. yeah, that was freaky. Um, he said he's scared out of his mind. He will never come back to this place again. I asked him to come back tonight with us, and he was like, nope, I'm not doing it. So, wow. Yeah, is that intense. That's deep, bro. Yeah, That's deep. Because that a dude with the name Chino isn't no softy, bro. No, no, you know no, what I'm no, 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 Chino's not no softy, like, guys. He's, he's he my pit bull. He's yeah. my pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> Electric box, man. That thing shot all the hell. I mean, this place basically just needs to be condemned. Oh, yeah. Um, of course, I hope they just leave it the fuck alone so we can come back and film again. Yeah, hopefully by the time we don't we come back, we're not, um, it is not torn down already. Yeah, for real. Because it is dangerous. There's like 666 on everything, bro. Everywhere. And there's literally... There's literally graffiti on everything here. <laughs> Somebody might want to follow this person on Instagram, who knows. There's another pentagram on the door. door. Dark. Dark Lords. Yeah, this place is... Uh, it's got some trapped energy here, man. Here's my personal opinion about this place. Here's my prediction. Here's my theory. This place is haunted because a lot of darkness was attracted to that blood. And they were attracted to it because they seen it as a sacrifice. You know, to us humans, everyday life, eating hamburger meat, that's just a way of life. But there are spirits out there that come from a time to see slaughtering the mass amounts of cattle that we are today, massly produced. That that scene is like a sin, man. Like we are we are overpopulated with resources and to some extent, even though they're not all being used. There's a lot yeah, of there's a lot of stuff that just gets thrown away. Oh yeah. And, and, and back in the day, bro, like, you get killed for some shit like that. Throwing away, like, steaks and hamburger meat. And, I mean, people work hard to get that. And nowadays, they just got farms where they're populating them like it ain't nothing. So, that could have been... Bro, what was that? I'm so glad I seen this, bro. Because, like, I felt like it was going to just, like, jump on you. I could have swore I'd just seen it move. Wow. What the fuck? Your phone was going? Bro. The necrophonic was going off and I haven't even touched it. Are you serious? Yeah, it's not going off now, but it was. I heard it. Alright, we're gonna work our way into this last one here real quick. Welcome to chill, bro. You guys make sure you hit the like button on these videos 
and leave a comment afterwards. I mean, you guys see what we're doing for you here. Oh yeah, no, this is definitely creepy. I, like I said, there's more heaviness over here than it is over there. Yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely more heaviness over here. This is definitely worthy of a like. Yeah, and you're definitely right about the, the, the like, them thinking it's a sacrifice when they're actually just, you know, cutting up cattle for me yeah. and processing it and everything like that. And they, there is a lot of waste. There oh, is yeah. a lot of waste because you think about it, when that, when it hits a shelf, if people don't buy it, it just gets thrown away in trash. Whenever I think you shouldn't even throw it away, I think you should give it away to charity or something like that. Too. Absolutely. Don't. You know, donate actually, it to the, the, the zoos the to zoos give to their animals. To yeah. Animals because it's not bad. They can still eat it. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. I mean. Less meat that they have to produce and cut up and purchase and it's less waste. Bro, I have, and, and I'm not bragging about this, but I'm just being honest. Yeah. I have sat down with the demon dictionary before and what I can do with a drop of blood would blow your fucking mind. Seriously? So to think all the blood that was shed and misused and abused here what that could do what that could lower here oh, could oh. Lower a lot. especially with these symbols and these sigils all over this place oh yeah i mean it's not a coincidence that they actually people came here to try to do probably satanic stuff and absolutely like that, witchcraft or whatever they perfect doing. place for it man nobody's gonna mess with them no and there's a lot of blood spread uh, spilled here so it's 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 a hot spot for that absolutely All right, guys, I think we're going to work our way back to the other building real quick and probably finish up over there. Watch your step because I just tripped. Okay. Last time when we were walking through here, we were coming through here and we were walking back to this building. And next you know, we hear a huge bang on that side over there that we were actually going to take a break and actually, uh, you know, uh, take a break from recording and take a breather because it got hot and we were felt heavy. My spirit box just started in my pocket, bro. Like, seriously, I heard Serious? something going off, and this is the second time. What do you want to say? If you want to turn it on and speak to us, you've done it. Come on, man, let us know what you want. Your company? Your company? Did it sound like yeah, that to you, too? Like your company. Carlos said this place wasn't no joke, man. He wasn't lying. Like, I've definitely, I've heard a lot of voices, like, with my naked ear, bro. Like, not even through the, the spirit box or, or any playback on my recorder. Like, I have heard voices just us walking along. There's been several times where I've, like, looked to my right thinking that somebody's, like, following us. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty eerie out here, man. I love it. But that said, I mean, we're surrounded by nothing but woods in the middle of nowhere at a slaughterhouse. This is some real Texas Chainsaw Massacre type shit. I thought I'd just seen something back there, bro. Carlos is trying to change his battery, but I thought I'd just seen something over there. What the fuck? Jody, can you sign your mic over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, man. I... Sorry. It's okay. I'm trying, trying to get to nobody get, running up on us know, or I'm nothing. To get my camera running. <laughs> Bro, this is nuts. Alright, there we go. I got my camera up. Got my battery in there. Okay. I'm turning my light up bright to go through here because earlier there was a huge ass spider just hanging down. Oh yeah. You alright, homie? Yeah, I'm good. Bro, I just seen the biggest fucking roach, man. Like, I seriously thought it was a fucking frog at first, man. It was. That's <laughs> nuts. Jody. You can't be putting that in your video now, Carlos. <laughs> Jody just freaked the hell out. He just, like my wife, saw a cockroach and ran. <laughs> I, I, Jody doesn't do bugs, man. <laughs> Sorry, that was comical. Sorry. Out of all the shit I've done in my life, man, I've been stabbed, I've been I, shot. You I, put a roach in front of me, I run like a motherfucker. I can't stop laughing because it was hilarious. <laughs> Where are the demons at? <laughs> if there's something in here that would like to communicate with me, I have some dowsing rods here. You can cross them for yes, don't cross them for no, cross one for maybe. Can you tell us where you're at right now? Straight ahead. 
right by my camera. Yeah, I know, right? You must like your camera. Is that something evil there from maybe the, uh, I was going to say from the pentagram over there? Oh, what's going on? It's not crossing all the way, but a gunshot. Were you the one that attacked me? If so, cross them for yes, don't cross them for no. Almost sounds like gunshots now, right? You got a lot of cop car, car, cars right now. Oh, cars and gunshots. Not good. That's not good. That's close. Yeah. Guys, I was not getting a lot on the rods. I could feel some energy trying to communicate, but it's getting a little bit weaker right now. That said, it sounds like there's some crazy shit going on nearby, so... Guys, I'm in here alone right now. Carlos just went to uh, get an extra battery. The spirits have killed his battery several times. I just took my camera off the rig so it's going to be a little bit more shaky but I wanted to stand in the middle of this while I wait for Carlos. If there's something or someone here that was summoned by this pentagram, I invite you to come forward, use your energy, and try and touch me. Can you do that? I'm dead center, come on. Bro, what the fuck was that? Carlos, you okay? Bro, you all right? I stood inside the, uh, the, the pentagram and I said, if there's anything here, I welcome you to touch me. And all of a sudden, dude, something just started happening. It sounded like it was coming from like either the raptors or inside of one of these. Bro, I legit was walking back this way and I heard something bang. So I can't run over here to see what's going on if you're okay. I didn't see anything. I didn't know. I don't know if it was inside of one of these things. I mean, it could be like a, a animal or something, but it would just be a little weird that it happened right when I asked something to happen and I'm standing in the middle of the pentagram. Literally, I was coming down the little walkway trying to get through the bushes. Bro, I'm wondering how the fuck somebody graffitied way the hell up there. <laughs> That's some dedication, bro. Somebody climbed all the way up there to put suck Nick's dick. It was very important, bro. Like, they were like, hey, man, we have to make it up there to put this. Dude, I think what probably happened is I think there was probably a couple rookies that came in here. Or like, you know what, we're going to put a pentagram down. We're going to see if we can conjure something, summon something. Oh, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. We'll bring the candles. We'll make a night of it. Call Dave and Beth. And they get over here and... and they probably started hearing sounds and hearing stuff like, oh my God, something's happening. Well, no shit. That's what happens, bro. And then, guess what? It's locked in here now. It's here. It's going to stay here as long as that sigil's here. So, you know, somebody can paint over it, but then they'll have to do a cleansing on top of that. Okay, guys, me and Carlos are wrapping up here right now. This place has produced immensely. Um, thank you so much for bringing me, bro. No problem, man. Appreciate it, dude. It was great working with him. Uh, as I said in the beginning, man, his link will be in the description below. Guys, make sure you smash that like button. Leave comments below. Make sure you're sharing this on all your social medias. You can grab your Hunting the Dead merchandise if you want to support me and my channel by going to www.htd4life.com. Grab a shirt. Grab some merch. Send me pictures. We'll put you on the home website. Guys, there's only one thing left to say, and that's sweet nightmares. Say what? Where do you want to go? You want to go to that house? Bro, bro, hey, 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 there's somebody coming in. Hey, hey, get the, get the.